Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Even More Mob Heads, a follow up to my More Mob Heads video where I showcase some loot tables you could download from my website, install them into your world or onto your server and it means that more mobs in the game would drop their heads. For example the Enderman, the Iron Golem and the Snow Golem, all possible. Of course this is already a vanilla thing with certain mobs being able to drop the head. Some of them, if you kill them with a charged creeper, will drop the head as well. I haven't actually adjusted any of those at all. They are completely the same with this system. But even more mob heads is exactly what it says. We've got even more of them because some were not possible before. But ChimpD has come up with a brilliant solution where we use a advancement system that you can't see here. It's hidden and we use it to add a load of loot tables to mobs we couldn't do before. It's pretty clever stuff. Let's go down here, let's summon in some parrots. In chat you're going to see a whole bunch of text, that is the advancement system adding the loot table to the mob. Now this has been done in an efficient way where it won't try to do it over and over again so it's not going to affect the performance of the game. And let's kill these parrots. Now some of these will drop their head every single time. You can see each of the unique parrots will drop their actual heads and the reason that these drop every time for parrots is because if you go exploring for them they're a little bit on the rare side and it'll be a real pain in the butt to actually collect all of these if they were a rare drop so I made it so that they drop every single time now that's not the same with all of the ones that we're adding and the ones that we have added that are on display here also include rabbits and horses which I haven't set up some command blocks for just because you probably don't want to see me kill these poor little kittens all day you see the ocelot there didn't drop its head and that's because these ones have a lower drop chance so I've got a looting sword which means we can demonstrate that they do indeed drop just not every time if you want to find out the rates of these mobs and how often they drop then you can go to my website there is a whole bunch of information on there. So let's keep killing these. I've also added some using the old system which you can download from there as well. Uh, that includes the Endermite, the Husk, the Silverfish, the Stray, the Vex and the Witch. None of those actually use this system but they've been updated since I last made a video. So you can see the heads are dropping and over here we've even got all of these zombie villager types added here as well. You can see they all have slightly different and unique faces. This guy's got a golden nose. We can see a golden nose on the head drop there. This one doesn't. You can see the correct head uh, correlates when it drops which is pretty cool. This guy's got like a, a burnt face going on and there's a lot of rotted flesh there. But yes, you understand exactly what's going on, right? <laughs> all of their unique heads will drop which is really cool. That's right, I've summoned four withers into this world. Luckily for me though, I use commands and they won't fly around destroying stuff. Uh, I've also added in some wither head drops as well. So we've got all the ones that I showed down there. We've got the rabbits and the horses added and now we can add one for the wither as well. There are actually four different types of heads that it's going to drop. There's going to be two regular types and two invulnerable ones. So these are the heads that you see here. They also go blue when it's invulnerable and then the ones that they shoot out as well. Um, so if we go down and collect all of these, let's see what ones we've got. We actually got one of each, which is pretty spectacular, right? That's the best way to show them. There you go, there's all four of the different types of wither head you can get from the wither boss now. So now I'm going to show you how to install this. It will require a basic understanding of how to move around files on a computer because you're going to need to download one from my website. There will be a link to it in the description box. Below it is the Even More Mob Head zip file. You'll need to download that, locate it on your computer and be ready to move it into our saves folder as we're going to install it that way. So first of all, going to go into single player. You can see here I've created an example world. All I've done is made a new world, haven't even run a command in it and this is the one that we're going to install it onto. So you don't really require any preparation in advance. Now what we're going to do is go to options, then to resource packs and we're going to open the resource pack folder. As you'll see, mine is pretty messy because I've got loads of this stuff left over from old vanilla tweaks. That's something I need to clean up. But anyway, from here we can navigate to our saves folder. You can do that by clicking up the top here and going to saves. But what you want to do is go back a level. So we go into the folder that that folder was in and then we go to saves. So we open up this one. We can see our example world. So we're going to open that one up as that's the one we want to install it into. And in here there's a whole bunch more files and folders. You want to go into data. And it's at this point here that you want to paste the zip file in. You want to move it into this folder right here. And then we need to extract the contents of this zip file into this folder. Now I'm using 7-zip. So what I'm going to do 
is go here and click on extract files and what I want to do is extract it to the data folder so I'm just removing that a little bit at the ends there so inside of that zip folder there are three other folders and when I do this it's now put them in there there's the advancement the functions and the loot table so now all of those are in the correct place let's go to the functions you can see it's added things into here and also the loot tables have been added as well Let's log into the example world together. You need to do one more thing to install this and that is obtain a crafting bench into your inventory. So let's type in crafting, put this crafting bench in here and there you go, a bunch of command block stuff happening right there. That means that the system is now active and let's do a little test just to confirm that. So notice how the chat is being updated each time we spawn in a horse. That's because the custom loot table is being applied. Uh, then we kill it with this looting sword and it drops its mob head. You see that was the correct one, the black horse head. Let's try this one over here. There you go. What head did that one drop? The chestnut horse head. So that's how you install the even more mob heads advancement system. Massive thank you to my buddy Chimp D for figuring out the solution to this and allowing us to have more mob heads on even more mobs. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. And if you like these giant mobs that are behind me, I thought this would be a cool setting for this video. These statues are actually from a plot that I found, or two plots even, on play.assumeavoid.com. Instructions in the description box if you'd like to head over there and visit this plot and check them out for yourself in first person. There's more than just these ones. But anyway, that's it from me this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.